Okay. I've wanted one of these USB monitors for quite a while as a way to either extend my setup that I have or actually more importantly as just a monitor for my units when I'm doing testing. So I don't always have to do flip flip with the monitor that I use for my own personal work. So I saw this on Amazon, had a great price, picked it up. This isn't really a review of the monitor itself because there's lots of stuff on there. What I wanted to do was show you how you can use this, not as a secondary monitor, a tertiary monitor, but your primary monitor for your Elite Desk Minis. And I'm going to go through the uh, G1 through G4. Lots of different combinations. Uh, and in particular, I wanted to show you how it would work with where you can add the second USB port uh, on the G3 and G4 and how it's surprisingly easier to use this monitor with the back USB port than it is with the with the front. So I just want to kind of go over a little bit. It's this M156F01 uh, MN, MNN. I've seen it with, I don't know, JFY, J, you know, lots of other <laughs> three-letter setups. It's basically the same monitor, uh, just branded by other ones. You know, as long as it has the basic same sort of connectors, you can use this um, video as a guide on how to set up with those other ones. The monitor itself comes with two cables. One is mini HDMI to regular size HDMI and a USB-C to USB-C. Both of those cables are going to be used in certain combinations, but you're really going to need some additional adapters and cables depending on the unit that you're going to go with. One of the things that's pretty much critical is you're going to need a USB-A to USB-C uh, because this is going to be your source of power. You're also going to want most likely a display port to HDMI adapter. And then in the case of the G1, you're going to need a VGA to HDMI since the G1 always wants to put its stuff out through VGA first instead of the, the uh, display ports. Now, one cool thing with this, and, and one thing that I was a little surprised, was that initially when I had heard about these, I thought they only worked under Windows. Well, I'm going to show you that once we get it set up, I can literally go into the BIOS. I can boot, you know, not even into Windows, just straight into the BIOS, do all my settings, etc., etc., uh, just by using this particular monitor, which conceivably, of course, then you could go and put uh, Linux and Proxmox and use it for all of those. The uh, little hard to show some of the settings here. On one side, you've got two USB-C and you've got your um, mini HDMI. You can actually plug in a second USB-C uh, adapter if you wanted, let's say, to charge your, your phone or something like that. This is only if you have one uh, a connector that's getting enough power through here. I, I've tried it. I wouldn't, I mean, you could tr try it out and see how well it works for you. The other side has a headphone jack. This is kind of an on-off. Uh, really bad. And then this one is a, uh, um, uh, I think, for setting uh, certain modes and other kinds of things with it. The other nice thing with this is that it's got built-in speakers. You can actually see on the side here. Let's see, I guess, yeah, both sides, okay. Which is kind of, again, nice um, so that you have that all-in-one feeling so that, uh, you know, you're not, you don't have to use the tinny uh, speaker that's on the unit. You actually, I mean, 
it's not going to win any awards for uh, you know, <laughs> sound, but it does the job. So let's start with setting up the G1. Before each unit, I'm going to show the connectors that you're going to need uh, in order to accomplish it. So you, you are going to need your um, <clears throat> VGA to HDMI adapter. You're going to need a source of power, and this is the uh, USB-A to USB-C. And you're going to need, and it's kind of a <laughs> mess here, let's see. You're also going to need your um, mini HDMI to regular HDMI there. And basically what's going to, what we're going to do is we're going to take this end, stick it into here, and then this is going to go in our VGA port. So let's get that set up and uh, show you what that looks like. So this is what it looks like on <clears throat> the G1 side. We've got keyboard and mouse here, obviously network. This is to power the monitor. This is the, the USB power for the VGA adapter. <clears throat> Here we've got connected in the um, normal HDMI to mini. Okay, now on the side here, this is our HDMI. Put that in all the way. And then you could do either one. I'd probably just use the, uh, the top one. That's the USB-C, which is the other end of this uh, um, powered cable here. Add it upside down. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the unit on. Kind of need the power to the unit to the uh, computer itself. Here we are booting into Windows. Sorry for the... The circle there, but that's just uh, my overhead light there. And there we are in Windows. Let's tilt it so we don't have that uh, glare. Comes up pretty nicely. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. Um, you know, just to just to prove that uh, you don't have to boot into Windows in order. You know, if you just want need it as just a monitor that, hey, I'm doing some work, I, I just got a new unit, and I want to check out some of the specs on it without dragging out my heavy monitor. Let's uh, reboot and um, go into um, the, the BIOS. Here we are. Startup men menu, just like normal. I just had it, you know, obviously the normal way, hitting escape a couple times. And I can go into the computer setup. Stuff looks just like it normally would. Okay, let's do the G2. So for the G2, still going to need this for power. Going to need this for the video connection, the uh, mini to regular HDMI. And then... It sort of depends, you know, which port you want to use, how your, your stuff is configured. My particular G2 happens to have an HDMI port. So I'm going to try using it directly to see how that is. Now, if I didn't have this, or if this was um, DisplayPort, then I would need to use this adapter and basically... Take the HDMI from here, plug it in here, and then go in there. I'm going to do it this way. We'll see how that works. Okay, let's get this connected, and I'll show you what everything looks like. This is the back of the G2. We've got our HDMI. We've got the power, which is the... Uh, USB-A to USB-C, keyboard and mouse, network. Over here, we're going to attach the USB-C. Attach the mini. 
in this particular case, I guess my uh, G2 decided to start on its own, but uh, we'll go in here. Okay, a couple of things. Uh, might be hard to read, but uh, um, you'll notice that the scale is set for 150% recommended. And I played around with it, and I, I think it's a pretty good recommendation. It it makes it the screen a little big, or, you know, the characters and such. I would try maybe 125. 100% was a little small for me. So I would go with the, uh, the maybe 125 experiment with that. Okay, let's do... The G3, and this will be interesting because we'll have two different ways that we can do the connection. Okay, so the G3, depending on how you have it set up, you could do a couple different combinations. So let's go with, if I had just a standard G3 that has the USB-C on the front. So what I could do is I could use I could use this for my power which you know is going to plug into the normal US uh, USB A or I could use their USB C to USB C for the power and plug it into the front and in both cases, if I'm doing that kind of power where I'm, I'm, I'm uh, setting it up with um, either th from the front or back and so forth, I'm still going to have to use this. So that's going to be for our standard uh, G3. Now, if I go the route of getting a Flex I.O. that does USB-C, from the back, and one of my videos shows how you can put this, add a USB-C to your G3. If I go this route, all I'll need is this cable. It will supply power, the signal, everything. Nice and clean, no extras right here. I still have my other USB-C I could use for other things. Of course, I have all my other uh, USB ports. So I'll sh show you how you can do, we'll first try it kind of a standard G3 and then I'll show you what it's like if I have that uh, Flex IO. Okay, so on the back, I forgot to mention you will need your um, display port to HDMI adapter. So I have got that plugged in here and I've got the HDMI to, to mini HDMI connect here. Uh, keyboard mouse um, network and then on the front I've got the USB-C now you may be asking well why can't I why can't I use the front unfortunately just using the front doesn't it's it's not the kind of USB-C that's needed to run this monitor in terms of where you on a single cable it needs the um, I guess the power delivery uh, that's as far as the spec says in the instructions and for this setup I, I did want to use this for the power because in the G2 we already showed what it's like using the USB-A to uh, USB-C. So we've got this over on here. It's pretty much the same idea. You've got your USB-C is going to go here and then you've got your um, uh, mini HDMI which is going to go here. Okay. Make sure it goes, this USB-C goes all the way in, makes a nice kind of, kind of click. And pretty much, you know, if you see, you see it working. So, um, we don't really need to go into windows at this point. Um, I'm going to shut it down and then I'm going to set it up using the back USB-C. Okay, I've attached the cable in the back to our um, Flex I.O. And then all I need to do here, I just have one, one USB-C. Click it in there. And 
There we have it. Just a single cable. That's nice. Okay, now we'll do the G4. Very similar, just a slightly different uh, USB-C uh, Flex I.O. Before I jump over to the G4, I just wanted to show you that this is the smaller, slightly smaller version of the um, Flex I.O. Flex USB-C. Uh, this one is small enough so that it gets around um, this post here. The one in the G4 is almost, uh, uh, almost fully square. It would not fit in here. And it also has a uh, connector that goes to a uh, pinout that's on that's only on the G4 uh, 35 watt. Uh, so I'll show you that when we go to do that one. Okay, here's our, our G4 35 watt. Yeah, you'll see it's it's a much fatter looking um, USB C uh, Flex I O. Um, it's got this uh, cable here. This, I believe, is used so that if you needed to, you could actually power the unit itself through the USB-C. I, I think that's what that's uh, designed for. Um, I can't quite remember if I tried this without the cable in the 65 watt to see if it still worked. Um, I'll, I'll have to... to resurrect and <laughs> check out some of the videos to see if that was the case. So this is going to work just like we did with the um, the G3. So you can do the same sorts of connectors. Uh, you can use the, the front USB-C for power, or you could use the back, the, you know, one of these USB-A. And then the same sort of thing you would, uh, you could do either a combination of if you had a HDMI port here, you could use that for your output video, or you're going to need an adapter and use it with the display port, or don't have to worry about all that and just get the Flex I.O. and just have the one cable and uh, the one USB-C to USB-C, plug it into the monitor and you're done. So... Um, I, you know, I always wondered, well, what, what is the use of having the second USB-C? Well, that's this one, especially because it's better than the, the front one, gives you that flexibility. So I, I, I'm, I think this, this, these inexpensive uh, USB monitors are great, uh, you know, especially to have on your workbench, something to just set up. I'm going to try to use it a little bit more uh, with uh, checking things out. The only kind of complaint I would probably have about it is that, um, you know, it, it, it comes with this case that, you know, wraps wraps around it. And it also kind of works as a, a way to create sort of a stand for it. Uh, not so wild about that. It, it's very similar. I know, like the Kindles and and the the Nick the what is it the Nook Nooks <laughs> sorry um, do kind of the same sort of thing. Um, yeah, I guess it's okay. Versus having maybe uh, you know maybe I might look into finding uh, an actual stand that I can stick this onto that might be nice. It might be a little easier to use, but um, definitely recommend. Um, you know, uh, very inexpensive. Shop around on Amazon. Look at the the reviews. I'll put a link to the one that that this one is. But again, there's a lot of them that look exactly like it. That I I, I can't imagine would be much different. But um, yeah, and let me know in the comments uh, what do you think of them.